Hello everyone. In this session, we will talk about try catch, which is an error handling mechanism in R. This try catch is similar to the try accept mechanism of Python. This is the very basic syntax of try catch. So over here, try catch is the keyword that we are going to use for error handling. Then its first component is the expression. So in the expression, we will provide the operations we will provide the code that we want to execute second block is error block so in this error block we will define a function which will be executed if any error found okay so for simplicity at present we are just printing that error executed and then we are printing the error message then the third block is warning block so this block again we are going to create a function which will be executed in case of any warning arise over here again we are just printing warning executed and then we will print the warning message and then we have this finally block so this block is going to be executed irrespective of there is an error or not so this finally block will be executed every time and again over here we are printing finally executed so over here you can see that in this particular code, we are trying to convert R, which is a character into the integer. So as we cannot convert this R character into the integer, it has raised the warning. So hence this warning block has been executed. So that's why this is the print message that warning executed. And then as we have printed warning message over here, it is saying that N is introduced by coercion. And as I have mentioned, that final block will be executed irrespective of code is working or not. So hence this finally block executed. In this example, we are using a function called int. Though this function is not available in R, this is not the part of the R programming. So when we execute this particular block, it will raise an error and hence error block has been executed. You can see over here and over here we have printed the error message so which is like this that could not find function int because int is not the function inside the R programming and as I have mentioned finally block has been executed over here we are converting one number integer using s dot integer so which is a valid function inside R programming hence this try block has been executed and again a respective of code is working or not finally block has been executed again this is the same example but just the difference is it is not mandatory to include all the four blocks of try catch function it is based on the requirement that how many blocks you want to include so uh, as the minimum you will need to include this expression block which will contain the logic of the code or let's say operations that you want to carry out and then based on the requirement you can include error warning and finally block so over here as the try has been executed uh, error block will not execute it you can see it over here okay again over here we are using this int function to convert into an integer but again int is not the part of our programming hence the error block has been executed and it has printed the error message now in this example i am showing that if you want to use this try catch block if you want to utilize this try catch function how can you utilize inside the for loop so over here we have defined a for loop in which we are going to provide one to five number as a characters as a string and then using this try catch block we will try to convert those characters into the integers again in this expression i am using this int function hence this particular block is not going to be executed and this error block is going to be executed again within this error block i have print the message that error block has been executed and then if you want to do some another operation when an error has been raised you can do that as well and over here i am using the correct function that is s dot integer to convert characters or string into the integer so you can see that within this error block if you want to utilize another function if you want to utilize another operations that you can do that as well so over here you can see that error block has been executed and then uh, these characters from number one to five has been converted into the 
integer in this example this example is same as the above example that we have just seen but over here we have just converted that for loop and everything into a function that's it for the day thank you for watching this video